Today, we're gonna make the skull court mod fight the Mi Alliance invasion. So the first thing we're gonna do is to spawn some builders for the Mi Alliance. They're over here. And let's just wake the horde. Now, the way the Mi's work is by building a base and expanding their territory, placing traps, barbed wires, and other stuff. And they also evolve and gain more resources. This is the beginning of the infection. It just like turns into a ball and spread the skulk. Although this is a desert, they don't have a lot of anything to eat. The Mi's have multiple phases and the more we advance throughout the video, the stronger they will become. But the first thing we need to know is, can the Skulk infect this core block? If a core is destroyed, the building disappears. So let's back up a bit and let them build slash infect. Right, so the Skulk just reached the base of the Mies. They didn't develop so much. Remember, this is only phase one. They are pretty slow at building compared to the fast expansion of the Skulk. And the Mi also have to defend against normal enemies as well as Skulk. Skulk is at negative mass right now. They are struggling, even though they are spreading. And also, they reach the building. There's like a fight of building. Because the Mi, yeah, they rebuild fast. Also, the structure cores, it seems to be immune to the Skulk. Which means the Skulk will have to overpower them if they want to keep them at bay. Because look at that. Look at this army. We're gonna give them a bit more time and see what's gonna happen. So even after their whole territory engulfed in Skulk, they are still fighting back and the mass accumulated from the Skull is still in the negative. So I think it's time we move on to somewhere where both of them can thrive a bit more. Alright, I think this is a better place for them to fight. So let's make the Skulk spawn right here. We're gonna activate manually the horde by doing this. This should work. Yep, the Skulk has been awake. Hey, there we go. And all we need to do now is let the Mies reclaim this village here. Well, they gotta fight the Golem first, though. If they want to reclaim the village. Prepare for attack. Oh, it's spreading fast, but they are at least far enough apart so that there won't be casualties instantly. They're gonna have time to prepare and grow for the war. Yep, the Skulk is killing all the animal in the area, gaining mass. So they're gonna be probably more strong against the Mi. And oh my god, look at the number of little mice going for this horse. Like already they have a thousand mass accumulated. This is gonna be interesting. Let's see how the Mi are doing back at their village. They are growing. There we go. So what we can do now is wait for the meat to grow and either see the skulk convert all of this land until they reach the Mies or the me building and start a crusade against the skulk so we're gonna wait and see and we'll be right back all right, so it's been a while and we haven't seen any confrontation yet but the skulk is growing really fast and somehow the Mies like made a blimp a metopian billu what the heck i'm glad we see one here because i haven't seen one in the me video so it's really nice to see what they can do so this is a blimp and they have four Mies under it. But anyway, we're still not ready for a war yet. Although the Skulk is now at 3,549 mass, which is almost enough for a node. Something is happening in here. Wait, what the heck? Oh, hi! There's a new Apothecarius from the Iron Spell and Spellbook. <laughs> it's fighting the Skulk. Oh, wait. A Skulk not has spawned. Oh, it's over there. It's still far from the me. What's here? Wait, 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 wait. They landed next to the me. Three of them, in fact. Oh, we're gonna have some war. Oh, there's a lot of barb from the me, but they're not finished yet. There's some landmine. Where's the blimp? No, oh, no, it's here. It's landed. And we're gonna finally see some confrontation. Now, the me is a bit more prepared than last time, but the skulk? Yeah, it's gaining mass really fast. Where? There's a small group going towards the me's. Are they gonna fight them? Is this how it begins? Yep, I think so. This is our first battle and yeah, what they sent was really weak. But now the me sees them as a threat and the Skulk sees the me as a threat. Oh, here's the bomb in action. <laughs> there we go. It's not really useful to block the infection, but it still kills some Skulk mobs along the way. Yep, all the mobs. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> It killed like five of them. Okay, so we have a Skulk Enderman. It's getting like beaten up. Skulk Enderman is already half health. Yeah, the Mies are fighting back. There's still villagers here. Meanwhile, the infection, this, oh, yep, there's a, oh, oh this Skulk Phantom will die. Although here, the infection has risen. Oh wait, the Skulk Enderman will die. They're living things so well. Yep, it's dead. The raid has been prevented. There's new Skulk mob spawning here, but it died instantly. But oh my, what the heck is going on? Like, what the heck is it? What? There's like bombing from the sky. What the heck? Look at that. 
Since the skull has reached a new stage, look at its strength right now. It is so much stronger. Look at the number of mites. Oh my god, there's now ravagers. But they're dying in the barb. Their defense is working. The mobs doesn't care about that. They just walk in it and die. There's a villager farming here casually in its farm. Nothing bad is happening over there. Wait, where's the mees? There's still some mees. But they're getting overrun so much right now. The mass is at now 10,000. It like doubled in no time. Yep, as soon as the grave mine changed up state of infection, we just blinked and it became like a full on infection. What the heck? No, Commodore Mi. Mi. Misosa. I love their name. But yeah, they're dead. I think it's safe to say that the Mi have lost on this one. We're gonna have to move on and boost the Mi's to give them a bit more chance to fight back. There's another blimp though, but it doesn't matter. Let's move on right now. For our next test, we're not gonna make the Mies at second phase yet, but the Mies will build five times faster than previously, and we're gonna put them right next to this giant castle. It's from the integrated dungeons and structures, and we're gonna let the Me build just a little bit before spawning the Skulk on this mountain over there. So let's just wait a bit, and we'll be right back when we're ready to spawn the Skulk. Here we go. All right, so the Mies are pretty much well established right now. They have roads, they have defense, they even have have infiltrated the castle from below. There's like a road right here going straight through the castle. So we're gonna go on this mountain here next to the castle and we're gonna spawn a node like right here. I I thought it would be in the ground right here. There we go. <laughs> and oh yeah, there's Phantom now. There's Phantom. Oh, dropping right on them. Wait, hold on. This one's in the center of this hole. And there's a tree right there. I think it's gonna be over fast. Wait, this one's gonna drown though. And when we're gonna do the last confrontation, we're gonna pull out all of the stuff from both parties. Can't wait for that. So stick around and don't forget, subscribe. I, I spend a lot of time doing this and it's really fun. So, but I really appreciate it if you can subscribe. Anyway. Let's see this one here. Wait, what? Okay, it's, it's holding right there. The infection has begun here. There's two over there. Yeah, this one drowned. It's cool caught around. There's me. I thought that was a me. Oh my god, from far away. Look at that, okay? I thought it was a me. Look, these me here with the wood on top. I got bamboos by target block. Anyway, oh, there's a big war coming now. The Ravagers are getting overwhelmed right now. And are they taking on? Yep. The Phantom is gonna die. This is one source of the infection. Well, there's a Skull Kenderman too now. So if the Skull Kenderman survive this time, we might have a raid. Skull Kenderman is at half health. Oh, it's regaining health right now. And it's getting its own people. Bleh. Killed most of the Mies. There's a few left. But this Skull Kenderman caused a lot of damage in here. It's gonna die. The raid was prevented again. The Mies are attacking the Skulk on the mountain, but it's their own territory. Yeah, look at- oh my god. They just spawned so many mobs. It's over. Wow. Right, so the Mies are starting to get overwhelmed by the Skulk right now. There's Creeper exploding everywhere, converting blocks. These might are infecting the Mies, spawning Skulk mass everywhere. But even at times 10, the Skulk is so fast. And since they can just kill the new Mies that spawn and infect them, the Mies don't have the firepower right now to overcome this. So we're gonna go to our last test where the Mies will be extremely stronger with the phase 2, but also another thing that I'll explain in a moment. But before that, I just want to see this castle become Skulk, so hold on. All right, the castle is now fully Skulk. Let's move on to our final test. For the final test, we're gonna use the Revent Floating Island data pack, because somehow you cannot do floating islands in 1.19. But with this data pack, as you can see, it's pretty cool. So link will be in the description. So what we're gonna do is spawn our Me colony right here on this floating island between these two buildings and now not only they are phase two but they can now terraform blocks any blocks transformed by the skull can be transformed into me grass so technically the me just became an infection mod yep they are fighting back right now so we're gonna let them build a giant settlement and we'll be back to start the horde because i was supposed to wait a little bit longer but <laughs> look at <that>. this <laughs> aircraft and the engine sound is literally <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's uh, wait a bit more because they're not ready <laughs> to face the Skulk yet, but oh my god, this is so funny. All right, so I think the bees are well established. It's been a while. They have a full line of defense on all sides. They have some Metopian carry me, aircraft, and more. So let's wake up the horde. 
And we're gonna do it on a completely other island right here. Just go in survival mode quickly. Please don't kill me. Uh, come on. Okay, it spawned. Oh, I need to go. We're gonna start at 20,000 mass, which is the mature state of the horde. And already there's a node that spawned. So now both mods are on their maximum power. Oh, these are just normal phantom, but this is not a normal phantom. Okay, it's landing on the tree and almost fell off. So hopefully the advanced technology of the me will be enough to put them at bay. There's another one there. Wow, right next to the line of defense. That's a lot of barb though. One, two, three layers there. Another layer here, a few landmine. They have Miridium plating and more advanced weapons and armor now. Oh, so the Mies did manage to go down from the island. Like they built all the way down. Wait, hold on. Wait, they reached the mine shaft and the skulk is over here. So we're about to see some encounters. And what I really want to see is the terraforming of the Mies. We can see it right now. Look at that. They were building wires. Look at that. It stepped on the Skulk and it is now mist from soil. So it is terraforming. That's going to be fun when the Skull is going to be in the center where there's a lot of Mies. Wait, there's a me scout? Yeah, they're going out of their way to attack the Phantom, I think. They're mostly defensive. They are still sending parties to attack. What the heck is going on here? What the heck? I forgot on this version, Phantom spawn from like the Skulk mass. Oh, this is even... Oh my god, it got destroyed by the turret. Although it is infected, so... Yep. There's gonna be... What? <laughs> That's a Ravager! Wow. Okay. Well, I don't know how a Ravager spawned from that little, like, tumor. It's already snowballing really hard. Oh my god. The Horde thrives against a lot of small units, and this is exactly what we have been shown here. Look at that. Wait, there's some landmines, though. Yep, they're stepping on the landmine. There's so many mobs. The mass is now 27,000. So it's going up and not down. Which is a bad sign for the bees. Because the more mass they gain, the more they can spawn stuff until they run out of mass. Even though, like, the terraform, you can see here. Look at that. They do step on the skull and transform it, but it's getting transformed back so fast. The me fought well, but they were not ready to the wrath of the Skulk. They got overwhelmed, and now there's barely any me's fighting back. One here and there, and it's pretty much over. Even though they were at stage 2, they had some better weapons, better gear, and even an infection. The Skulk overpowered them. So I hope you enjoyed all of these little experiments. That was really fun. I have a few more infection we can do with the me's, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. And as always, you're awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah.